Okay, welcome to Little Steps. My name is Tim. Uh, we're just going to do a quick retake here on a video for blocking unwanted users in Yahoo Messenger. Now please bear with me. Um, this is just a refresher or going back in. I did have somebody comment that the text was not quite visible in my old video, so I'm going to go ahead and do this in a lower resolution just so you can see. Now the very first thing we're going to cover here in blocking unwanted users is you want to go ahead, if you are being harassed or, or you want to block somebody, it's really a good idea to manage and keep the information just so you have some way to track it if you have to get the police involved or the authorities involved in either tracking or dealing with this situation. You do want to have references. You want to be able to go back and show that someone's actually harassing you, that they're, you're not just making this up. What you can do here is if you click on Messenger, now please note that there's, if your Messenger window isn't open, you can click on your Quick Launch, you can open it up, or you can just double click on your icon down here by your clock. Now yours is probably going to be down here on the right corner. I moved mine over here to the left. Nothing you need to worry about, except you can access your program by double clicking on this icon. Then you want to click on your Messenger, which is your drop-down. Then go down to Preferences. Now also make note that you do have shortcuts for some of these uh, items, and you do want to learn to use those as well. That will make you more effective using Windows. Now what you first want to do is you want to go down to Archives. Again, going back, it's critical that if you're going to report somebody, you do need to keep a record of this. So what you can do is you read here, do you want to save an archive of all the messages you send and receive on this computer? Yes. Set that and then track the people who are harassing you. That way you have physical proof that somebody is actually harassing you. And if you've asked them to quit, you will have proof if they keep popping back up. There will be timestamps on these, which means you can actually track what they're doing and when. It's a good idea. Plus, it helps you remember things, you know, in the event you have somebody pop up and you don't remember them, you can always go back and check your archives to see if you actually have chatted with this person before. So that's a good idea. Now let's get on to the next part of this. You want to block somebody from actually contacting you. Now there's a preemptive block, which means you can preemptively block anybody by clicking on your ignore list down here on the left side. And you'll notice your ignore list, you can ignore anybody who's not on my messenger list. This is kind of a catch-22 because if you're out to meet new people on Yahoo Messenger and you have that option checked, then you're going to eliminate them from either seeing you or contacting you. What I do is I click on ignore only the people below and then you can add someone to your list by clicking here, typing in their ID. In other words, if somebody keeps harassing you, you can type in their specific ID for Yahoo Messenger, type it in here, and or use the other options here for MSN as well, and then block the ID. If you don't have an actual ID, you can in fact use the email address if you can access that. If you're still having trouble um, with doing this, you can contact Messenger and ask them if there's some way they can help you as well. But this is basically the quick way of doing this. I strongly urge you to use this option. Um, again, there's many other options here you can use, but the, the primary ones we wanted to focus on were the archives to make sure you keep a record in case somebody is harassing you. And also these two options here for either ignoring everyone, which does have a setback because you can't see new people who want to chat with you. If you go into a chat room, usually means you're going to block everybody in the chat room except those who are on your list for friends, which can be a little troublesome because, quite honestly, in most cases, if you're in a public chat room, you kind of want to meet new people. But I use this option here myself just because I don't want certain people accessing my information or popping up on my screen because they tend to be either bots or people who are trying to harass me or hack my computer or something like that. Anyway, I hope this is useful for you. 
don't forget when you do check your options, you do need to apply them in Yahoo Messenger. And then click OK. And then you can add or remove people from your list. Anyway, thanks again for tuning in for this short video. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. And please continue to tune in for future things. If you do have a comment, if you have a question, if you have a recommendation or something that you would like put onto my channel, I would be more than happy to reference it and uh, possibly put, a, put on a video for it. If I can find what it is you're wanting or needing access to or, or a little bit more information about, I'd be more than happy to help you out. Thanks again and have a great day and keep tuning in. Bye.